Hello and welcome to another Performance Architects How-To. Performance Architects is a business and technology consulting company that helps companies initiate and sustain big changes in their performance management and business intelligence environments and process. This video along with others on our channel should help provide some additional insight as you embark on or continue along your EPM and BI journey. Head over to our channel after this video or come back in the future to learn best practices, hear overviews, and take part in lessons we have designed to help you. We are focused on continuing to develop this community and we welcome any recommendations you might have for future content. Thanks and enjoy. Hello and welcome to Performance Architects How To. My name is Michael. In this How To, I will discuss creating S-based SQL load rules in a Unix environment. So first of all, let's talk about the issue itself. The problem we often see at clients is, I like to write S-based load rules against a relational database to pull in things like hierarchies and data into my queue. S-based handles this quite nicely by allowing for SQL-enabled load rules that go against a relational database. However, as a prerequisite, you must set up what's called an ODBC connection to your relational data source. ODBC stands for Open Database Connectivity. And this is really a standardized mechanism to connect to all types of relational databases, including Oracle, SQL Server, and DB2. One thing to note, however, if your S-based server is deployed to a Windows box, there's an ODBC administration tool built into Windows. However, if your S-based server is deployed to Unix, there is no out-of-the-box ODBC administrator tool. Rather, ODBC connections on a Unix server are handled through a file called odbc.ini. This file can be found in your S-based server installation folder at the link below. One thing to note here is that I have a folder listed Hyperion Common ODBC. If you are running a 64-bit version of SBase, you would go to Hyperion Common ODBC 64. So keep that in mind throughout the demonstration. So now let's review how to create ODBC connections in Unix. So first of all, I'm going to go into I'm going to FTP into my into my Unix server and I'm going to then go into my Hyperion installation folder, common, ODBC, Marint, 5.2. Now this folder is created upon installing SBase in your environment. And as you can see, we have what's called an ODBC.ini file residing in this folder. If we take a closer look at the odbc.ini file, we can see how it will relate to our data sources. First of all, when we open this file, we'll see what's known as a header and then the actual source definition. So if we start with the header, first of all, we're going to define a name for the odbc connection. We'll call this my data source name. Then we'll define what type of database we're connecting to. For this example, we'll be, we'll be connecting to an Oracle database, so we're going to use the DataDirect 5.2 Oracle Wire Protocol driver. You'll be able to see other examples of different types of database drivers in the out-of-the-box ODBC INI file. Now we're going to define the connection properties for my data source name. The main things to note here are that you need to change things like host name, login ID, password, port number, and then add any service name or SID. Once we're done with that, save the odbc.ini file in your Unix server. Now, before we can actually deploy this to our S-based server, we need to actually make a link to the odbc.ini file on another folder within our installation. So if we go back to our Unix server, and we go all the way up to the very top root folder of the Unix server and then in the home directory we're going to navigate to the user that the users folder that created uh, that actually installed sbase this user is hype adm in our case 
So we're going to go into the hype ADM folder. Here we have what's called a symbolic link that's been created uh, which basically references the odbc.ini file in the folder we were in before. In this tool we can simply create uh, symbolic links by right clicking new and then link and then simply pasting in the location of the original ODBC INI folder. After that, it's just a matter of restarting your S-based server. Now you're ready to begin creating load rules against SQL databases. So let's go into EAS now. We can open up a new load rule, click File, and Open SQL, so, uh, confirm our database, and then we'll be able to select from our new ODBC SQL sources. Once we select the data source, then we can just write our simple uh, SQL statement to pull in data from our relational database. This is how you create an S-based SQL load rule in a Unix environment. Thank you for joining, and please visit our Performance Architects how-to channel for other videos on enterprise performance management and business intelligence solutions.